Welcome back everyone to Illinois Fighting Illini Dynasty is the 7-0 Fighting Illini are now number three in the nation just behind the also 7-0 Georgia Tech and West Virginia as Illinois opponent today will be the Minnesota Golden Gophers and it has not been quite as good of a season for the Golden Gophers as it is for Illinois Minnesota currently 2-6 and six on the year but if not won an in-conference game I believe they are 0-5 versus Big Ten opponents, and with a loss, they will officially be eliminated from bowl contention. It's only one of the best passing offenses in college football. The running offense isn't quite as good, but simply because Eric Fisher is such a great quarterback, and Darius Shrub, he's just a freshman. He's having an okay year. So the Golden Gophers and the Fighting Illini of Illinois will be taking on each other next in Minnesota. Welcome to TCF Bank Stadium, the home of the Minnesota Vikings for about three seasons, or however long it was, after uh, their original stadium got flooded with snow. I shouldn't really say flooded, but bombarded with snow. Anyway, Illinois will choose heads because heads never dread, and it lands on heads indeed. Illinois will send their defense out on the field as they usually do when they win coin toss. Illinois' turnover differential this year is 22. The next highest team has 12, so as you can see, Illinois is killing the turnover differential as Dan Daniels on second down looking for Jones who breaks Charles Cook's tackle and gets 17. I, I don't know how James Landry got in coverage, but good to Eric Fisher has been insane this year so far. I believe he has about 27 passing touchdowns and zero interceptions. That is like unheard of. As a first down, Fisher hands it off for the freshman Darius Shrub who loses one yard courteous of Dan Hammond. It is first and goal about the two for Illinois. It's been a pretty slowish drive, but a very efficient drive. It's Fisher scrambling. He's going to try to run it in, and that's what he will do. I believe this is his third rushing touchdown of the season to go along with his, like, 28 passing touchdowns. And Illinois will, as usual, score for EA Sports Studio update here for you folks. Is Michigan and Michigan State both with, both with six wins? Michigan State has two losses, or no? Michigan State has one loss, and Michigan has two. And currently, it is the Spartans on top of the Wolverines by a score of three. Zip. Another reaction: Ohio State, who had a big comeback last week against Virginia, are currently on top of the Maryland Terrapins by a score of fourteen to seven. Minnesota's offense returns after not a great first drive, as Dan Daniels will hand it off to Jonathan Johnson. But it will be the senior linebacker, Derek Shaw, making the play. It is second and 23 after a holding penalty by the running back, Jonathan Johnson. As Dan Daniels looking to pass it. He will be intercepted by Aaron Burns. And Illinois gets another interception. They've gotten a lot of those all season long. It's the Juco Jr.'s second interception of the season. Illinois has seven more interceptions than the team with the second most interceptions. As, meanwhile, they've not thrown a single one offensively, as on second and goal, Fisher. He will look for Christian Law, and Illinois will make their lead bigger. Minnesota has not been great offensively. Their first drive, they got like one first down, and their second drive, they ended up throwing an interception. As on first and ten, Dan Daniels looking for Gray. And Gray is a first down pass midfield, 20 yards for Jeff Gray. It is third and seven for the Golden Gophers. They are 0 for 1 so far today on converting third downs. As Daniels under a lot of pressure for Marcus Miller, he'll find Johnson, who only gets two. It is third and six for Illinois for 24. They are 2 for 2 on converting third downs. As Kyle Davis is motion. Fisher looking to pass good defense or good coverage. Which I guess is good defense for Minnesota. Fisher breaks the tackle and will run for a first down. Excellent play by Fisher. It is third and inches for Illinois. They are perfect on converting third down so far. As Eric Fisher. He's scrambling. He will look deep down the field for Kyle Davis. And Davis holds it at the 20 yard line. Big play from the freshman who has made a lot of big plays. Just like that, Illinois is at about the 20 yard line. Maurice Rivera for running back in the backfield. As Fisher ran it off for Mo Rivero. Rivero is a first down. Rivero's blocks. Touchdown. Illinois. They have been destroying 
the Golden Gophers today like it's nothing, and it will now be most likely 21-0. We have another EA Sports Studio update here for you folks, as Michigan State so far destroying Michigan by a score of 17-3 is Chad McKnight. Not a great hit game from him, as he's third in the Heisman race, so... His stock might go down if he continues to Illinois' start. offense is back starting at about the 40-yard line as their offense is 3-for-3 three three so far on drives. And Minnesota has been the complete opposite. It's Fisher faking it off for Shrub. Fisher finds a wide-open Jackson Kelly who gains 25 yards. It is first and 10 now for 36 as Fisher going out of the pocket. He will look for Kyle Davis. And he, that was incomplete. Like, he, that's not a fumble. That is clearly incomplete, but it works out for Illinois, I guess. The Kyle Davis play was challenged to see if it was a fumble or not. The play was reversed. So basically, it wasn't a fumble, and it counted as a catch. It was on third and nine. Fisher finds an open Jackson. Kelly will get a first down to about the four-yard line. It is now first and goal at about the three-ish yard line for Illinois. Fisher. He will find Jackson. Kelly is favored red zone target. And Illinois' gigantic lead is getting even bigger and bigger. I expected this game to be close, but... Or not close. I did not expect this game to be close, but I didn't think it'd be this lopsided. As Daniels on second and two. He's gonna throw it in. It is caught by Jones. Minnesota finally has promising field position. Let's see if they're gonna screw it up or not. As Daniels on first down will pass. Daniels. Looking for Brian Booth! They do screw it up as Brian Booth gets his fifth interception of the year. Nine seconds left in the first half. It is second and nine at the 20. As Fisher. He's going to look for Jackson Kelly in the end zone and Kelly catches it! And Illinois' gigantic lead is even bigger. Minnesota is looking like a Division 17 chess team. Women's chess team, too. Okay, that's, that's kind of wrong, this but whatever. first half is over, and I think Minnesota's happy the first half is over, as Illinois has been playing their best football this past few weeks, and it is showing as they're on top of the Golden Gophers 35 to nothing. Illinois' first drive of the second half resulted in a three and out, their first punt of the game, and then on Minnesota's first drive of the second half, all three plays were passes, and all three of them were in the hands of Illinois defenders, as Fisher finds Quayshawn Law. Law in the red zone at the 15. It is first and goal now at the 5 for Illinois. They're hoping to make it 42 to nothing. Fisher is on the run. Does not know what to do with it. So he's going to throw it in the end zone. And Daniel Barnes will catch it. And the Illinois offensive expedition continues. We have a EA Sports Studio update here for you folks. This is Nebraska-Penn State. Two very good teams. Nebraska 6-1. Penn State 5-2. It looks like it's a very close game as well as the Cornhuskers currently on top 24-17, but with plenty of time left, it's anyone's game. Minnesota's offense has zero points to show for them today. Their offense has been terrible, unlike Illinois' offense, clearly. It's Daniels. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked by the big nose tackle, Nathan Jenkins. Illinois' offense had to punt it again, so in the second half, Illinois punted it twice. In the first half, they did not punt it at all. As Daniels on first down finds Gray. And Gray gets a first down. Gain Illinois' ten. offense comes back. The second half has certainly not been as exciting as the first half for the offense. As Fisher big it off for Shrub. Fisher. He will find Jackson Kelly, who gets to about the 40. The second and 6 for Illinois is Fisher, fake handoff for Shrub. He will be sacked right to the ground. No pass blocking by Illinois. It is Fred Steele who gets the sack. So I'm going to decide to just sim the rest of the game because I have to get to a basketball game in like 10 minutes. Now, we did take Eric Fisher out just so he wouldn't get hurt or so he wouldn't throw an interception. So... Just going to show what happens here in the simulation. Minnesota ends up scoring. Illinois gets a field goal. And that's probably going to be it. Yeah, 45-7. to Blowout for Illinois. Eric Fisher, unsurprisingly, played really well. Jackson and Kelly, one of his best games of the year. And that'll be it for me next episode. I think we'll be against Louisville, who Illinois lost to last year. One of their two losses. So peace out.